Hi, they call me Johnny Dollar, and I'm going to explain Bitcoin and blockchain, the technology behind Bitcoin to you today. You may have heard of Bitcoin before. You may have heard of it as like internet money, digital gold, and it is those things. But how does it work? A lot of people give you technical explanations and miners and this and that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to explain it the way I understand it. And it's really a combination of other explanations I've heard and my take on it. And the way it works is the technology behind it is magic. Or at least that's how I understand it. Because, you know, you don't need to know how it works to use it. You know, I don't know how a four-stroke combustion gasoline engine works, but I drove my Subaru across country. No problem. I don't need to know what's under the hood to be able to use it. So let's talk about how blockchain works. What it is, it's like a book. It's like a magic book. And what's magic about it is everyone has a copy of this book. And the thing that's magic about it is if I write something in the book, it magically appears in everyone else's copy of the book. And if it's true, we agree it's true, it gets permanently written in the book and no one can ever erase it. Then we move on to the next page or the next block. You know, this is important, and you might want to know why. Well, it's like a Google Doc without Google. So say here's Google, and this person makes a change to the document. They send it up to Google. Then everybody else goes to Google and gets their copy. Somebody else makes a change, it goes to Google and down. Google is the central point. It's centralization. This is decentralization. It's a Google Doc without Google. Google's gone. If this person makes a change to the, to the document, it automatically appears in everybody else's copy. So it's decentralized. You don't need this central authority. You might ask why this is important. Well, several reasons. One of them is security. When you have the center point, it's a center point of failure or where somebody can hack it or a corrupt person in the center can change the data and we don't have control. That's a main point of centralization. Another thing is transparency. We all have a copy of the book. We know what's in it. No one can cheat. But somebody can here at the center that controls the data could cheat. And that's important for money. Bitcoin is transparent money. Unlike the dollar, we don't know how many dollars there are, who controls the dollar, who has what, where it goes. It's very opaque. Nobody knows what's happening. But Bitcoin is transparent. With this decentralized decentralization, it's a very powerful tool. It allows for you know, open transparency. I hope this helps. Um, thanks.